Hello guys, welcome back to Mercedes Lounge. My name is Ben. I create awesome Mercedes and Mercedes AMG videos. In today's video, we're taking a look at the Mercedes-Benz GLB 250 SUV. I'm going to tell you why this is a great compact SUV. The GLB 250 SUV features a 2-liter inline 4 turbo engine and it produces 221 horsepower with 258 pound-feet of torque. It does it to 60 in 6.9 seconds. That's not so fast in SUV territory, but it's a great, great compact SUV. Now let's take a look at this GOB 250, starting with the exterior look. I love the design. It's rather boxy, raised roof, and the windows are slightly larger. And I'll show you the cabin space in a moment. The red design exterior lighting package offers LED tail lights, which wrap around from this side to the trunk itself very vibrant led tail lights it has the gob branding 250 on the left formatic on the right hand side formatic meaning it's all wheel drive all the time red diffuser very simple has these pieces of plastic right here and the exhaust chrome pipes are just aesthetics the actual exhausts are underneath on the other side however i love the chrome pieces on the rear has this other chrome piece to protect your trunk right here the mercedes star sits at the center the rear window is tinted as well let's take a look at the cargo space cargo capacity starts at 22 cubic feet however if you lower the back seats you can get up to 60 cubic feet of tr trunk space there is a cargo cover right here to protect your luggage from the hot sun you can fit two medium sized suitcases in here or at least one large suitcase. I bet you can have a set of golf clubs fit here comfortably. Or just for camping, you can put a lot of luggage at the back of this GOV 250. It has the electronic trunk close, which is a plus in my books. A rather gentle wing. I also love the design back here where you have the reverse tail light on top you have roof rails where you can have up to 200 pounds of cargo spread out evenly on those roof rails made of aluminium side perspective chrome door handles gives it a very elegant look wheel fenders have this plastic material right here which add to the design elegance of this GOB 250. The rear windows are tinted for privacy. This GOB 250 does not have MG Night package because of the exposed chrome pieces around the windows. If it did have MG Night package, all these will be in high gloss black elements, but they're not. Rear perspective very very elegant i love the rounded design back here continental pro contact tires these are all season tires size on the rares 235 50 r19 with the multi-spoke rims silver brake calipers love the chrome piece running along the base of the car offers elegance front tires same continental pro contact the size on the front tires 235 50 r19 19 inch rims front look i just love this design uh, on a scale of 1 to 10 guys let me know what you think about the front design of this gob 250 has the led high performance headlamps which have daytime running and a single eyebrow at the top you can however configure these and get the multi-beam LED lights at the base. You have a single fog light on either side, perfect for wintry conditions or rainy season. Front look, very, very aggressive. Front splitter in some regards with the chrome trim at the base and a fully functional air intake right here. Your intercoolers will be down inside here love this double chrome piece on the grill itself with the mercedes star however this gob does not have the active distance electronic systems 
this is a GOB35. How you tell it has the active distance. The Stronic is the Mercedes three-pointed star. Sits inside this casing. This is more rounded and smooth. Panamericana grille. And this is a GOB35 with the night package. That's how you tell the difference between the GOB35 and the GOB250 in terms of the active distance is tronic, but it does look very bespoke from this perspective. Gentle AMG power domes, which run along right here. And that's really the design on the roof. Panorama glass, which adds to the elegance, makes for perfect summer driving on a day like today. It's a beautiful day here in Utah. You want to have an elegant panorama glass at the top. Let's jump on the inside. Interior look, macchiato beige has this spiral trim. You can get this in natural ash as well, wood trim. Memory seating one to three has heated seats. Tons of storage down here for a water bottle and other luggage. Speaker system right here. And the leg area is pretty spacious. This section actually is sort of deep right here if i put my foot in sort of sinks in um, very elegant design the seats they do have thigh support right here if you pull this lever um, good quality seats they have seat kinetics and i'll explain those once we drive Upper dash finish in this rubber material, very soft airbags. The spiral trim on the front and 10 and a quarter inch displays for your digital instrument cluster as well as your center display, climate control systems, turbine looking air vents with the black piano liquid trim all around it, climate control systems, storage. NFC wireless charging, cup holders, and uh, MBUX system control units down here as well. Center console has black piano liquid trim, which by the way, this is a fingerprint as well as scratch magnet. You wanna be careful with the set of keys around this area. If I sneak in right here at the center, has tons of storage, USB-C ports, and uh, some cars have an SD card slot, this one does not, but it's deep enough for other luggage. The steering wheel all around leather with touch controls on either side for your MBOX system and the center display. Cruise control options are on the left right here. Voice activated systems and phone options are on the right hand side. Eco start stop right here and the all new MBUX system which again is also fully touch screen I'll show you that in a minute control to this trackpad and the headrests are good quality they have enough padding rear seats can accommodate up to three passengers and they're quite spacious, enough legroom as well. Panorama glass, very, very large. Has a central divider right here for more sturdiness of the SUV. Reading lights, accessories over there. And these are good, good, perfect seats. Very comfortable, I love the design. They have side bolstering and support with the contour features. Up here, accessory lights and reading lights, as well as your panorama glass opener. The sun visors
are up here good quality as well you have a card slot right here and another lights I'm gonna open the I'm gonna open the panorama glass and see how that folds out press press one more time and it's gonna open As you can see for summer driving, you have enough sun shining through and you'll be very, very comfortable in your new GLB 250. Let's close it down. Ooh, that is wonderful. Has a bit of a tint. So it's not really direct sunlight because of that tint. Handlebar right here for those off-road conditions or terrain. For all your passengers as well in the back. All in all, this is a very nice compact SUV, the GOB 250. Go for a drive. Visibility is quite good in this GOV 250. The windows are slightly larger than your regular SUV because of the boxy design. Roof distance from my head is about five four inches the MBUX system which is the Mercedes-Benz user experience system enhances driving for the GOB 250 SUV as well as other models in the line it is fully touch screen. Great surface area, 10 and a quarter inch. Has what you'd expect in an infotainment system, radio, media, comfort, info, apps, and settings. Through the settings menu, you have quick access and uh, vehicle assistance and all the other good stuff. As I turn through here, I will switch to info which provides vehicle metrics and switch to the sport mode take a look at the engine metrics through the info screen you can see your performance engine torque battery voltage as well as the charge air pressure on your tires <clears throat> uh, feels pretty good you can also control your climate through the voice activated assistant Or rather the voice assistant. Hey Mercedes. How can I help? I'm hot. I'm reducing the temperature to 70 degrees. So if you want to have hands-free access, you can just use your voice assistant. You don't want to have distracted driving. Uh, because I'm speaking, I'm going to lower the fan speed just level one
The automatic transmission is an 8-speed automatic transmission. It's more than enough for this car. Enhances the driving and gear shifts are also very short and precise. However, at uh, high revolutions, the engine does hum quite a bit. I will switch down to comfort mode through the dynamic select option down here. I don't think we've spoken about the dynamic select options. Let's go let's go through those options starting with the bottom we have off-road which is for off-road and other rough terrains swipe up you have eco mode you have comfort and the sport mode as well as individual mode let's say to sport sport mode and give the car some gas There is a bit of an understeer in cornering conditions, so you want to be gentle on the revs and the gas. I'm gonna set it down to comfort mode, which is your more daily driver mode, very relaxed mode. Suspension is, as you'd expect in an SUV, very robust, especially in the sport mode. I'm going to change the dynamic option to sport. Then give the car some gas. So 0 to 60 time is 6.9 seconds in this car, not as fast. But the 2 liter inline 4 does an excellent job of power distribution paired along with the 8 speed automatic transmission. Overall, I know what you guys are going to say, this is not a guy's car. There will be some debate on that as to who would rather buy this car. There is another GLB right there. But I think it's a fun car. I like everything about it. Very well rounded. However, the, the sound from the engine at high speeds you can hear the the hum. <clears throat> it does take some getting used to. but it's still pretty quick. All in all, my rating on this GLB250 is probably an 8 or an 8.5. With more options, the rating can go higher. Um, I guess 221 horsepower is, is still pretty low for an SUV. But remember, this is entry level. And that's it guys, that's the look at the 2021 Mercedes-Benz GLB 250 formatic SUV, compact SUV. Starting price on this as price is 46,000. Well balanced, fun SUV to drive. Make sure you hit subscribe, leave a comment and uh, let me know if you want to see more of these random drives or more of these I guess not usual cars you see on the channel, GLB or a GLA. Until next time, remember to subscribe, stay positive but test negative. Peace.